Welcome. In front of me is a Ulephone Note 18 Ultra, and today I will show you how we can put this phone into recovery mode. So to get started, hold your power button and from the boot options that will show up, you want to select power off and then do that once more and this will turn off the device, which is indicated by the vibration. Now once the device actually vibrates, you want to give it like solid 5 to 10 seconds, um, just so the device does everything in the background that it might be doing. And uh, from there, hold power button and volume up. Now the reason that time might be a little bit important is if you start holding it too early, nothing will happen for some reason. Um, which looks to be the case for me anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna let go of the buttons and start holding them again. Come on. No, oh, there we go. Um, so as you can see, it might be a little bit finicky. You might want to let go of the buttons and start holding them. Uh, not sure what's happening here. Uh, but anyway, once you see this mode, uh, you can navigate using volume up. And you want to do that in order to select the first option, which is recovery mode. So just make sure that the arrow that is right here on the side jumps all the way back to the top. And then press volume down to confirm it. Give it a moment. And this will most likely, before we enter recovery mode, stop us with the no command screen. But... We will see. Oh, nope, it jumps straight to the recovery mode. So once you're in this mode, you can navigate using volume buttons. Now both will work, so up and down. And the power button will be used to confirm uh, the selected options now. So um, going over all the options, we have a reboot system now, which takes us back to Android. Reboot to bootloader, which will take us to the previous page that we have access after turning off the device. Enter fast boot mode, then we have um, apply updates from ADB or SD card, wipe data, mount system, vlogs, run tests, and power off. Anyway, I'm going to stick with the first option, confirm it. And like I mentioned, this will now reboot the device and bring me back to Android. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.